Welcome back here on a beautiful Friday morning and just a short little message from an, an elderly coach that the one thing's for sure, the older you get, you seem to be able to connect dots a little bit more. So just a message. I was with one of my oldest and greatest friends, uh, the great Chuck Johnson yesterday. And Chuck is a, is a case study. I mean, the guy's incredible. I mean, he's been coaching over 40 years, an amazing coach, just been through a really life-threatening experience, and he's, I've watched him flourish through it because he uses the same stuff. I mean, the same framework for everything. The guy has got S-A-M-E written on his forehead. You know, regardless of what defense he's facing, he runs the wing T. Regardless of what year it is, he runs the wing T. Regardless of what anybody says, he runs the wing T. He has a routine, a framework, and a process, and a plan. He uses regardless of what's coming after him. And that's what we need. So here's the framework that I think works for me. Maybe it'll work for you. E does not equal O. It doesn't. The events in our life doesn't equal the outcome because there's an R stuck in between there called your response. And your response to the events is totally on you. It's on you. Viktor Frankl said it. Take a deep breath, guys, and don't react. Breathe and choose your response. Number two, control the controllables. What can you do today? Not what you can't. What are the options you have within the restraints to become as creative and resourceful and determined to be everything you can be? Because the controls are the key. No one controls your choices, your attitude, your mindset, your determination, your effort, your attitude, your, I said it before, your judgment. No one does. So run with it. Hey, remember the people used to say, I don't have the time to work out. I don't have the time to meditate. I don't have, not anymore. Number three, the key to sustaining during tough times, the key to resiliency is one thing. It's research-based. It's called optimism. And optimism is a learned skill. It's a learned skill. So you have to actually do it. And it's as simple as this. Every day at the end of the day, what are three things that went well today and how did it make you feel? Martin Seligman, 2005, researched thousands of people. It works. So what is your attention focused on? What are you focusing in on? What's going well, what you can do, or what's not going well, and what you can't do? It's your choice. It's the old stuff. Here we go again. Gratitude. Come on, Stroker. You can't be grateful during this time. You must. Because your strength, your attitude, your energy must be that of a, a vibrant, tremendous leader. And you've got to stay grateful for the things you have, not the things you don't have. And then finally, hey, I have a funny feeling your book is being written. I have a funny feeling that your book is in the most important chapter of the entire book. And it's the chapter when the challenge came up. Joseph Campbell said it so beautifully. We are all born to be heroes of our own life. And he says there's a call to action, a call to action for all of us. Right now is a call to action for you to be the best you can be and march forward within the constraints of the rule book, but be a leader be a leader who others can see, stays positive, stays optimistic, is smart, prudent in their actions, and truly makes this opportunity an opportunity, not an obstacle. Hey, there are just a couple things that have worked in the past for me, but most importantly, you need to find yourself here. Who are you? Who are you right now? Forget your label, forget where you live, forget who you work for. Who do you want to be? Who do you want to be during these times?
and then have the courage to be it during these rugged, hostile times and show others they can do it because they watch you moving forward. I hope you have a great day. Hang in there. Show up. Be brave. Be kind like Gross did even when he didn't feel like it. Even when he was down in the dumps, this guy reached out to others and made others feel better because they were around him. And then smile, not because you're a wise guy, but only because you're focusing on what you do have, not what you don't. Have a great day.